Hello everybody, it's me, Paper Pirate. Before I apologize for my extended absence this time around, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm actually not feeling very well right now, but I did want to go ahead and make a video for you guys since I actually had time to sit down and film for once, which is a little bit strange. But today's video is going to be a What's in My Pencil Case college edition. This is my first time doing a What's in My Pencil Case as a college student. And now that I've had a semester to kind of figure out what I like and don't like to carry around, I am very, very happy to be sharing my picks with you guys. Um, before we start, let me apologize for my voice um, again. I am so sorry that I'm, this isn't the best like quality, but I really did want to film a video. And again, sorry for my absence. This semester, I thought I had things ready to go since I had a semester of college under my belt and then that just didn't quite work out and I've had to do a lot of studying and reviewing a lot more than I expected which is fine because school needs to come first anyway but again I'm sorry because I did promise some stuff that I wasn't quite able to fulfill but this is my pencil case it's the same one as last year it is the Nomadic PE 18 one I believe um, honestly the model doesn't really matter I'll leave it down in the description below to confirm it, but they no longer make this pencil case. Um, I think it sold out on jet pens last year, and I know you could buy it on cult pens for a while. They no longer have it either, so I think your best bet to get this specific pencil case is to check eBay or try and do a trade with someone. Not me, because I'm keeping this bad boy. I love it so much. Obviously, from last year when it was new, it's got a few more pen marks on it, but it's still held up really well, especially for being such light-colored material. I'm surprised it doesn't look a lot dirtier. So, this pocket, we'll start with this one. Um, Pentel High Polymer Eraser. Um, don't worry, guys. I still have this Statler one that I've shown in a lot of my other videos. I just use it for calligraphy mostly and drawing. I don't really take it to school with me. It stays in my dorm room safe and sound. By the way, this is also the first video I filmed in my dorm. And I feel like the lighting's a lot better than my normal videos, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, Pentel High Polymer Eraser and two LEDs, 0.5 Pentel LED, excuse me, 0.7 Pentel LED and 0.5 Foray LED. This is from Office Depot, you can get it there. And that is this little pocket here. In this front pocket, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. We've got quite a few pens. I keep the majority of the pens that I reach for most often back here. Um, in the back, nothing's changed. I still have my five um, Unipropus window soft color highlighters. I've talked about these multiple times on the channel. They're the holy grail of highlighters. I'll try and link some videos in the description box below um, as to why, or me discussing them further in depth, but I'll just show you guys one for example. These are pretty worn out because I got them three years ago. They're still holding up too, so that's pretty cool. This is a body. It's got a clear window chisel tip, and it also is dual-ended like the mild liners. This um, fine tip is a lot more durable than the mild liner tip though which is why I prefer them over the mild liners, personally. I've also got a Raymay 15 centimeter ruler. You can get this at Jet Pens. It's also non-slip on the back, which is really, really helpful, especially if you're in a class like statistics. I was last year, and for drawing graphs and such, it was very, very helpful. Next, I have my Zebra Fulst 0.5 millimeter pencil, twist up eraser. This is a very nice pencil. I like thicker bodied pens and pencils just because I have fatter hands, so it's easier for me to grip. And I like that this one specifically is a shaker pencil, if it would actually work. There you go. The next pencil that I've got in here is also the same one that I had last year, I believe. It is a Twisby Pagoda 0.7 millimeter. It's weighted in the grip section, so it doesn't wear out your hand, and it's generally just a very good quality pencil. I honestly don't really have a favorite in between those two. Both are great, and I use them interchangeably, so I would recommend both. Next, I have three Pentel Energel X pens. Again, I like these better than any other Pentel Energel body because for two reasons. One, they're thicker, and for the reason I said before, 
And two, the twist is at the top rather than in the middle. I find that when the pencil and gel have the twist in the middle, when I the way I grip the pen, it pops out and the pen breaks. I can't, I don't quite know how to describe it because I don't have one of those pens to show you, but I just like how the twist is at the top to take out the ink refill. So I have three of these. One of them broke because I'm really rough with my pen, so that's why, but it was a green one. But I have three of these, and I refilled this one. These two have conical tips. This one has a needle tip. Um, this is the best 0.7 needle tip refill you can get, in my opinion. Definitely would recommend. And then these three pens are new additions. I actually received these from a good friend here at college um, who also is a pen fanatic like me, and she got me the old editions of the Muji retractable pens. You can no longer purchase these, and I'm honestly not quite sure where she found them. She says she has a Muji store where she lives, which is super cool, because I don't. Um, but I just have, in this pencil case, navy, black, and green. These are fantastic pens. They're 0.5 millimeters. I genuinely really enjoy writing with them, taking notes with them. They're terrible for highlighting, I'll say that right now, but they're very smooth, very good quality, and if you can find these specific ones, I would highly recommend them, because I know a lot of people have some, uh, we'll say, mixed reviews about the new versions of those specific pens. Moving on to the large compartment. Got white out all those pens. I am not perfect and I make a lot of mistakes. I also have a white out pen. Again, I feel like this is just the bag of discontinued pens here. You can no longer buy this Sailor Mini Correction Pen. It's personally my favorite correction pen that I've ever used. Still got a little bit hanging on. I do have a replacement for it from Dice Show, but you can't buy these anymore and I'm so sad because I love this one. I have some page flags here. This is just a set of plastic flags that I use to mark up my, or like, mark pages in my textbooks. Um, I've got some paper flags here specifically for note taking. Um, I don't have a literature class this semester, but I remember when in high school I liked using these to make annotations, and then I have a magnetic bookmark. The other one that I have is actually in my planner right now. Um, I got this one at a set of them at Dice Show. I really like those too. Again, for marking pages. Now let's get into the actual pens here. Um, so, as y'all know, as usual, five mild liners in here. Um, this isn't the actual real set of colors that these came in. I just thought these were pretty. Um, and I do have all 25 colors and I just rotate them out every week, depending on my mood, my planner setup and all that jazz. Got a pencil RSVP as a ballpoint pen. In my experience, it's always just nice to have a ballpoint pen in your pen case just for whenever you need a ballpoint pen. My mantra is you never know when you're gonna need one, so it's always good to have one. Two brush pens because I found that I get very bored in my lectures and I like varying my lines and practicing my calligraphy. So I've got two. Um, this is actually honestly by mistake, but I like having two now, so I'm not gonna change it. So I have my Pentel Fude Touch Brush Pen and the Tombow Soft one. Um, I know there's a real name for it, I just can't quite remember it right now. Um, I've got a Uniball Signo um, DX.38. Um, I've actually really liked this pen. When I first bought it, I wasn't a big fan of it, but I have a lot of classes where I have to annotate PowerPoints this semester, which is a little strange, but I find that the thinner tip sizes work really well with that. Um, I also have this Pilot High Tech C pen, 0.5, again, super razor thin pen. Um, it leaks a lot, as you can see. That was just me marking on my hand, which is stupid, but it's pretty good, and I always try to get it in the rotation. I always like having a gray pen in my pen case. This is one is a Zebra Sarasa clip one. It's 0.7 millimeters, and it's just good for like adding extra information if I've run out of colors, which usually doesn't happen because I don't color coordinate my notes as much as I did in high school as I do in college. And finally, we've got a Zebra Sarasa clip in one millimeter. I really like this pen. I've liked it for years and I have a ton of refills for it, so I'm just trying to use them up before I use anything else. And that 
is what I like to carry around as a college student. I really don't use any other pens. Um, I do vary up my highlighters and I use the Stabilo Boss, um, excuse me, not the Stabilo Boss, the Stabilo, what are these? The fine liners and the fiber point markers, the Pen 68 ones for flashcards, but aside from that, I don't really use any other pens in college. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be on the lookout, hopefully, for some new content soon. See you guys in the next video.